welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about my March QBR. Um, this is way overly ambitious. I'm going to put these down before I draw them. I always make my TBRs very overly ambitious. I normally don't even stick to my TBR because I'm a mood reader to my core, but hopefully this month I will because I put myself on a book buying ban until April because my birthday's in April. So let's hope I actually stick to this. So let's start off with the book that I know I'm going to read this month. This is In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I am so excited to read this book. Um, this is Sarah's book club pick for March. Um, this is so cute. The spine, the cover, I love it all. I believe this is single dad, second chance romance, and a small town romance. And especially single dad trope is my absolute favorite trope um, right now. So I'm very excited to read this and I can't wait. I have not read any books by Kate Canterbury. I don't know if this is her first book or not, but either way. Like, the, just this top, she's the one who got away, she doesn't know it. Bye. I'm so excited. And I think it's Boy Obsessed. Which, like, hello. Next book I want to read is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I tried to start this, actually, but then I wanted to read a different book instead. But I want to read some sort of thriller. I feel like I've read a lot of romance, so I want to just break my romance part by reading a thriller. So I've heard really good things about this one. I believe they, like, go to, like, a weekend away trip, and there's all these weird things that start happening. It's, like, a husband and wife, and I think that their marriage is, like, on the rocks. So, <laughs> Rock, Paper, Scissors, so... And I heard Alice Feeney is an amazing author and she writes amazing thrillers, so I'm also excited for that one. Next two books are from the Chestnut Spring series by Elsie Silver. Um, this is Heartless and Powerless. I read Flawless last month and I loved it, adored it. So I'm very excited to read these. These are pretty big books, I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty chunky books, so they might take me a while to get through. But I believe this one's Hockey Romance, which <laughs> love hockey romance. And then this one is Single Dad Trope. I'm most excited for Heartless just because this is about Cade. You meet Cade in Flawless and I loved him and he has a son so it's Single Dad Trope. If you sense the theme here it's because, like I said, Single Dad Trope. I love it. These are all small town romances as well. So, very excited to get into these and the covers are just gorgeous. Like, these are probably one of the prettiest like discreet covers I've ever seen in my whole life. So, excited for those. Next up, I want to finish the Shadow Me series. I read the first three books and two novellas. I read those last October, I believe. Um, and I've been dying to finish the series. I just have not been in the mood for it, so I finally was. This is the book I stopped reading Rock, Paper, Scissors for, so I started Restore Me yesterday. I am loving it. I already knew I was gonna love these. I love the first three books. I love Aaron Warner, could ruin my life. So yeah, I'm excited. They're just super easy reads. They're dystopian, fantasy. They're young adult, so they're like, they're just easy reads. So I have Restore Me. Um, I have the little like combined duet of the novellas, which is Shadow Me and Reveal Me. And then Defy Me, which I'm a little nervous for Defy Me because I know people, this isn't their favorite from what I've heard, but I don't know. Any content of Aaron, I will take. And then Imagine Me, which is the last book. And then Believe Me, which is the last novella. So I'm very excited. And I've heard that this one has spice in it. So I'm excited for that. Next up, speaking of another series I want to finish, I want to read Kingdom of the Fear by Karen Maskelko. I read Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Cursed in 2021, I believe, um, and I have not got to this one yet. So I'm excited for this. I love the first two books in the series, so I'm sure I'm going to love this. Just like Aaron Warner, I love Wrath. Wrath could ruin my life. I literally love him. So, And I think this book... I, I know that she was getting spicier with these books. I don't know if this has like spice in it, but either way, I'm excited. And this cover is gorgeous. I just wish it was a paperback. But Another series I want to finish, just the books I own. This series is not complete yet, just like the Chestnut Spring series is not complete yet. But I read Mile High in January, so I want to read um, The Right Move by Liz Tomford. I love Mile High. It was my first five-star read of the year. Um, these covers are gorgeous. This is the Windy City series. This, I believe, is a basketball romance. The first one's hockey. So I can't wait to get to this. And I believe there's fake dating in here. So I just love this cover. Like, is this cover not gorgeous? Last but not least, I want to start the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. So this is A Court of Thorns and Roses. As you can see, I'm kind of in my fantasy era right now. I'm trying to get out of romance for a little bit because I feel like I've read so many romance books and sometimes romance books get repetitive to me. So I'm excited to start the series. I think you read this before Throne of Glass 
if somebody can let me know, that'd be amazing because otherwise I'll start throwing the class. But I've been wanting to read this series for probably going on like two years now since I first started on BookTok and I never bought it and I finally own it. So I want to start this. And that is my March TBR. Um, you'll see these in my March wrap up. If I stick to my TBR, we'll see. Hopefully I can because a lot of the time I just don't. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I appreciate every single one of you and I love you and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.